Hey, this is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon Photoshop Actions, and I'm going to take you through an edit today using uh, the Essentials Action Set and the Picture Perfect Portrait Mega Set. Both of these are available for both Photoshop and Elements users, and we are going to show this demonstration today using Photoshop. I have this beautiful bride's image from Holly and Ryan of Gopper Photo. And the first thing we're going to do with this is run one of the all-in-one workflow actions from Picture Perfect. I'm going to run the clean process on this one. And we have uh, several different versions of the all-in-one workflow. Uh, we have the clean process look for a really bright, nice, crisp, and clean process. Uh, we have a vintage look. We have an urban look and one called Velvet Retro, which is after the very popular Velvet Retro action. And we also have an all-in-one portrait retouching action. I'm just going to run the workflow all-in-one uh, clean process. And this is going to give us a lot of little adjustments uh, all together, make a complete workflow. And at the end, you can choose to go in and tweak it as you wish or uh, leave it as it is. It runs beautifully on all kinds of images across the board and uh, gives you a nice, bright, clean, and colorful look. Uh, you can see before and after, and that's now with no tweaks at all. But there's also a black and white option here, and you can turn that silver screen goddess on too if you'd like. You would open the folder here for the all together now and you see all of these different layers that we have to work with if we choose to. I'm going to um, just show you if I wanted to use the black and white I would probably uh, boost the midtones up a little bit more so I'd choose the midtone booster layer and boost that up and if it gets too bright over here you can mask that off with your black brush um, and that looks a little bit better there. I'm gonna She's a little bit darker on this side of the face. I'm going to boost the, make it lighter, layer up on this. And it's getting blown out on the left side over here. So I'm going to take my brush with a black brush and hit my right bracket key. And brush that back down off of her left side because we don't want her getting too blown out over there. Uh, so... That just lightens up the right side of her face there. There's a lot of different options in here. I'm going to turn off the black and white so we can just work with the color for right now. And another thing I'm noticing here is her dress has a real cyan blue cast to it, as does the veil just a tiny bit. So I am going to flatten this out, and that looks pretty good the way it is there and show you an action from the essential set called Whiten Your Whites. And it's great for wedding dresses, for white clouds that have turned a little bit yellow, um, anything that was white that you want to get back to a true white. And it's called Whiten Your Whites from the essentials. And we're just going to go in with our white brush here and you probably want to zoom in and do a little bit more detailed work so we don't turn her hair gray. But We're going to just do it really quick and messy for right now just to show you how it works. And then down on her dress. I'm going to use a smaller brush around the edges of the dress. And then increase the brush size to fill it in. There we have it. You can turn it up as much as you want. And inside you can also whiten it up more. We have make it whiter and a, even brighter still if you want to, if it, your, the whites aren't bright enough, but hers are, so we're going to leave that as it is. And uh, bef that's before you can see that real blue cyan cast there in there. And you know what? I'm going to actually, and there's the after, before, and after. And I'm actually, I'm going to, I'm not liking th this color back here. I want to focus on her face only. So I'm gonna just going to brush all the way over there so that color kind of goes away. 
So we have before and after. I'm going to flatten that. And I'm just going to show you really quickly. Uh, I would want to get rid of these little stray hairs here and how I would do that. I'm going to create a new layer. You can hit this right here and create a new layer or use your shortcut. And I'm going to use the healing tool for this. It's already selected, so I'm going to make it really small to go over the fine hairs there. And I'm going to select with the Option key or Alt on the PC with clean area, and then just paint over the top of the hair. And up in here, just you just select where you want to sample from. Say you're telling Photoshop this is a good area. Take this good area and make this area look like that. And it'll blend it for you with the healing tools. And I would, you know, I would obviously, there's a lot of different little hairs going on in here that I'd go in and take care of. We're going to be really quick today, so, or kind of quick. I like to talk a lot because I like to give everybody lots of tips. So hopefully I don't bore everybody with my videos, but I, I like to give as much information as possible. The edits themselves really don't take that long at all, seconds <laughs> usually, but I like to tell everybody what I'm doing. I don't want anybody to feel like I'm going too fast or get lost, and I like to give lots of tips along the way. So hopefully you find that uh, helpful and useful and not irritating. <laughs> And so, there we go. So that got rid of, you know, there you, there's a little bit there and there's some strays there that we can clean up still, but we're gonna just, for the sake of a demonstration, try to be faster here. And so there's the before and the after, getting those little hairs away. And then I'm just gonna flatten that. And then I'm just gonna run one little action as a artistic touch at the end here. From the Blessing set, um, this is called Candy Shop, and it's just going to give us, it gives us a whole bunch of different hazes and pops and uh, bleach pop overlay. You can just go in and have fun playing and creating your own little recipe with different color tones and pops and hazes. So I am going to go and choose, let's see here, let's see how, it's a nice um, blue haze, there's a pink haze. A honeymoon haze, a nice golden, uh, and a, vint a nice vintage look. And you can mix and match them. I kind of like this Cassis Pop. It's a nice kind of a purple undertone to the shadows. And drop that down and maybe a little bit of a vintage denim haze. And I'm going to drop that down. And then I'm going to turn on the bleach pop overlay, and that kind of cuts through some of the haze that we just created and, and brings back some of the contrast there. And then, say, it just very, it's very subtle. You can go very extreme if you want to. You know, there's an extreme vintage look. And then if you want to do that, I would bring this way up too so you get more of that contrast back in there. But uh, just giving you an example of what that can do, it's kind of fun to play with uh, before and after. And you can just drop the whole thing down if you want it more subtle. So, or you will flatten that. And I might actually brighten her skin tone just a tad too. And I'm gonna just go with the mid-tone booster from the Picture Perfect set. That's way too extreme, so we're gonna drop that way down to 15. And that looks pretty good. And so we're going to flatten that. And then I'm gonna show you the before and after all of that. And really, that kind of an edit would normally take maybe two minutes tops. Um, but, you know, I like to talk a lot and explain a lot and hopefully give you a lot of information that you can use to speed up your own workflow. So uh, there's the before and there is the after. And I hope that was helpful. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Thanks. <laughs>